Hello and welcome to another delayed maths video. Uh, as you can see, we've gone with the super fresh trim because the tuft was just too much. So uh, I'm linking it back today. We're going into, um, I, I want to say saving money, but it's maybe perhaps making it a bit more money aware. You've heard on the news um, that we've got, you know, the green list travel here and there. And, you know, what happens when you go abroad is a different currency. All right, so that's what we're going to look at. It's something we've, we talk about in maths. It comes up in exams, but I know it goes into real life as well. So let's help you guys out. So we're looking at exchange rates today. So what I've done is I've picked two places on the green list. One would be, uh, well, any somewhere in Europe, somewhere like, I don't know, let's say Ibiza. You know, the boys, 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 lads, lads, lads want to go Ibiza. Um, so I've chosen Euros and I've chosen Israel because why wouldn't I? Um, and they're two different exchange rates. As you can see, the exchange rates are currently different. And what an exchange rate is for every one single pound you hand over to the Bureau de Change, how much are you getting back? So if I was handing a pound, I'd get one, well, 1.136 uh, euros back. You wouldn't get that. They'd round it or they'd figure out a way to make it more accurate. But that's what you get. Or if I was going to Israel for every one pound, I'd get um, 4.223 uh Israeli Sakar, I think it is, Sakir. Um, and that's what their, their units are, okay? So what I thought is, um, the way you'd work things out, okay? So there's a little tip here. So for example, so you know what you're expecting if you were gonna go to the Bureau de Change. So let's say we were gonna go abroad and you wanted to convert 500 pounds, okay? So you wanted, to, you wanted to know how much you're gonna get in cash, whether it be notes or coins, but it's more than likely gonna be cash. So, the way I always think about it is if you are going from your home country away, you multiply by the exchange rate. So, what we're going to do here is, let's say I wanted to convert to euros, £500 to euros. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the current exchange rate for the day and I'm going to multiply them together. So, I'll do the 500 times by 1.136 and that would give me exactly... Not pounds. That would give me exactly 568 euros. Okay, and that's live off today. So if you were going to do that, that's how much you'd get. Let's do the same with the uh, Israeli currency. So I'd do 500 times uh, 4.223, and that comes out at 2,111 pounds and 50. And the symbol for that is that. Okay, so that's how much you'd be expecting to get or roughly expecting to get. And, and certain places have certain exchange rates. So obviously look that up first to see who's got a better exchange rate. Definitely recommend that. Um, so you might earn that little bit extra. You might get that little bit more when you go abroad. So why is this useful? Well, it's when you're there. I think it's when it makes it more useful. Yes, you can go into holiday mode and you can think, oh, just get it. Just get it. It's fine. We're on holiday. All right. But let's make sure you're not getting ripped off. Yeah, because we're here to save you money, aren't we? So let's say, for example, all right, you go into Israel. Okay, um, so what would be useful is knowing, rather than remembering that, you don't want to spend all holiday remembering that, but what you can have uh, in your mind is say, well, it's about 420, right? It's about 420, okay? It doesn't need to be super accurate because it's just to give you an idea if you're being ripped off or not. So let's say it's 420. So I've talked about if we're going away, let's talk about coming back into pounds. So there's a pair of sunglasses, you're in Israel. It's 150 of the Israeli currency. Well, okay, you've got a phone and you've on your calculator on your phone, because I'm sure you're not gonna take this with you, all right? Not space, you know, not space for that. So you've got your phone with you. So what do I do? Well, when I'm going away at times, but when I wanna come back to the home currency, Divide. So I divide that by my made up rounded number, 420, just to give me an idea. And that comes out at about 35 pound. All right, roughly, what was it 35 pound 71? All right, so in your head, if you remember that 4.2 and you see something, you go out to the markets, you go out to the shops and you go, oh, I wonder how much that actually is. Like how much am I actually paying? Quick calculation, divided by 4.2, because you've taken the exchange rate in your head with you, everything divided by 4.2, and you can see, would you be willing to pay 35.71 for 
those glasses, sorry, that's just there, 3571 for that pair of glasses. If you would, get them. If you think, hold on, I'm in. These probably only cost about 50p to make, probably don't want to pay it. Yeah, saving you money. So with a Euro, you know, you're abroad, you go into Ibiza for the summer, it's going to be hot, all right? You're going to need a hat. So it's 20 euros, this hat. So what's that? Again, the exchange rate is about 1.136. Don't want to remember that. 1.1. Where is it? Oh, eh, there it is. 1.1. All right. So divide that by 1.1. That comes out at £18.18. .18. Yeah. Would you want to buy this specific hat for £18.18? .18? Who knows? That's up to you. It's whether you want to spend that money on the hat. But the point is, all right, if you're going away, multiply by the exchange rate. If you want to convert it back into pounds and you want to think, am I saving money? Am I getting ripped off? Divide it by the exchange rate. If you've got the exchange rate on your phone, you can divide it by that exact number. But I just used to uh, round it and just remember that. It was easy to remember that, work it out dead quick, roughly what I'm paying. That's not right. I'm, I shouldn't be paying 300 quid for a, for a meal. Yeah. So just work it out. So hopefully that's helped a little bit. Sorry it's been so delayed and uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one. <laughs>